city of stunning beaches and rolling hills is unique. It has its own flag, its own language, its own strong Celtic identity that today has been officially recognised, the Cornish given minority status like the Welsh or Scottish. It means that a, a, a proper degree of recognition under the European directive, under European law, if you like, uh, for Cornwall and, 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 for, and for the Cornish language and culture. And that in itself is important because it means that uh, those things will be taken into account in future when decisions are made. If you're coming on holiday here, you might not notice any tangible difference, no extra money, no Cornish assembly, but Cornwall's views will now have to be taken into account by Westminster decision makers. For businesses like this brewery, it's good news. I think this is fantastic news for Cornwall today. I think anything actually that puts Cornwall you know, in the spotlight um, is absolutely really positive. It's a, it's a fantastic, vibrant county. Local historian John Buckingham says many Cornish are ambivalent about their new minority status. Those of us that have known all along we're special, um, we think, oh yes, that's nice. Not a lot more, really. But Cornwall's self-proclaimed arch druid says the magic of Cornwall is obvious to anyone that's come here. You love the place down here. You love the smell of the sea. You, when you walk across, you like to feel the sand between your toes. Cornish independence is still a pipe dream, but this change does finally recognise that Cornwall is different. Dan Rivers, ITV News, Padstow. And that's it for now.